Hey everyone, uh, my name is Dan, this is my channel Mindful Missionary, and today I'll be sharing some advice that I received from a guy named Don Bunting. Several years ago, I was down in Tampa, Florida at a Bible conference or, or lectureship. And one of the speakers at this lectureship was Don Bunting. Now, Don Bunting is a guy that from that point, I've gotten to know really, really well. Um, when I lived in Boston, he was only a few hours away in New York City. And so his lecture that he presented on that occasion was geared toward a report regarding the work of the gospel in New York City. Now, I think Don knew that the audience that he was speaking to did not view New York City as a very attractive place to live or a very enjoyable place to live or even a very fruitful, perhaps, location for the gospel. And so one of the first things that Don did in that presentation is that he assured all of us that he enjoyed living in New York. That instead of New York being a burden primarily, it was actually a place that he enjoyed and, and was pleasant to him. And so he describes some different aspects of life in New York that um, he found charming and he appreciated and he liked and enjoyed. He talked about some of the benefits of teaching the gospel there. And so the sentiment that Don presented in that lecture is that it's important as an evangelist, as a missionary, to learn to love where you live. And one of the reasons why I think that might have been really important to Don and why it's important to me in trying to apply that principle is that if people view that we are merely tolerating their home, their city, their country that we're placed in, and we really find no enjoyment and there's really no pleasantness to where we're living, then that again is going to affect, I think, how we are received and how we are um, listened to by the locals and by the people that were around. And so this is something that I carried with me even to Boston where I was living before um, uh, I moved here to West Africa. That even though you know my wife and I lived in downtown Boston, there are certainly some aspects of life there that were uncomfortable. We never lived in an apartment that had more than 500 square feet. There were certainly inconveniences and annoyances with living in a center of a metropolitan area. But we learned to love where we lived. And I think that was a blessing to our work. And I think that opened some doors that would have otherwise been shut. The same is here in Africa. Now, that doesn't mean that Africa has to be our favorite place in the world. It doesn't mean that Sierra Leone has to be the place that we envision ourselves living for the next you know, five plus decades. But I do think it, it's important for us to learn to see the place that we're living with a pleasant disposition. So there certainly are aspects of of living in Sierra Leone that are unpleasant and aren't exactly a joy. Uh, I'm fairly certain any local would agree with me uh, with that sentiment. You know, it's hot here. Um, there are some challenges when it comes to the underdevelopment of this country, but there are also so many just enjoyable aspects of the culture here and of the lifestyle that we're living. And that's something that sometimes takes really mental discipline to focus upon over some of the more challenging or difficult aspects of living here. But overall, if we're able to focus on those pleasant things, and there's so many, there's so many, uh, and we're able to kind of decrease our attention away, you know, from some of the challenging aspects of life here, then A, I think we're gonna have a much more enjoyable time here. I think we're gonna be able to have a much more sustainable lifestyle here. You know, whereas if every day's a grind, every day we're, we're reminding ourselves of how much we don't wanna be here, we're not gonna last long here if that's what we do. Um, and then also, I think we'll be received so much better. You know, one of the most common questions we're asked here is, you know, by the locals is, you know, how do you see the environment? is what they ask. And I don't think they're just talking about, you know, the weather and the climate. 
what they're asking and what's really important to them is what is our opinion regarding our stay in their country? Uh, Sierra Leone is a very friendly, very welcoming country. And most people that we meet, they give off kind of the sentiment that they feel like they are our hosts and they want us to have a good experience here and they feel very responsible for us having a good experience here. And if our answer or our you know, feeling behind it is how miserable we are, how much we dislike it, then that's just really gonna, really going to, I think, put off a lot of people that we're interacting with. And so that's why it's so important for us to really learn to love, learn to like where we live. And this is true here in the foreign mission field, but I think this is just as true uh, in the States. Again, there are so many things that we could look at no matter where we're living that could turn us off to that area. Um, but there should also be so many things that we could choose to focus on, choose to emphasize that would then distract us from those you know, unpleasant qualities and really grow within us an attitude of contentment and thankfulness for where we're living. So most of this video is simply my observations and applications to this kind of general principle that Don shared. Um, perhaps he wouldn't endorse ever, every connection that I've made in regards to that, but I appreciate him sharing that with me. And it's been helpful as I've lived in Boston. It's been even more helpful as I'm living and adjusting here and learning to like, learning to love where I live.